my Nailtech Academy channel. My name is Ivana and today in this video I want to show you how to create bug issue in Jira. So first of all, same as with the stories, we have to find the create button and click create button. Exactly the same thing with the project and so just selecting the project that you're working for and issue type. So at this time the issue type will be bug and in summary, pretty much same as a story, you have to provide meaningful name or meaningful title of the issue that you found. So imagine that we have our orange HRM application and imagine that we logged in, um, not logged in, that we opened our very first page, login page, and you hit, um, you input your username, you input your password, and the login button just doesn't work. So in summary, for this type of um, for this type of bug, you can just put the login button is disabled during login. So that will give the hint to the developer like what what happened, what the issue is about, and it will be just perfect summary of like the whole bug. Let me I have it here. Login button is disabled during login. So in the description for the bug, you have to provide what are, um, first of all, you have to provide what are the steps to reproduce it in order to the person who is going to fix it for the developer uh, to reproduce it as well. And uh, maybe that will help them to fix the issue. And you can provide some more details. Um, what happened? How did you find that bug? Uh, more than you provided in the summary. Um, let me just copy paste it. So for example, like for more detailed explanation, um, I mentioned here that login button is not clickable when user tries to log in. So that will give more explanation uh, to the one who is going to fix it. And now steps to reproduce. So just like this. So first of all, you have to open our orange HRM application login page. Um, then the next step, you have to input the username and password, and then click on login page, and then click on login button. So the next step is going to be, um, we have to provide what is our expected result and what is our actual result. So in the expected result, that's pretty much what is our happy path is, what is a positive test, how things should happen. So that's what we are expecting. So the user should be able to log in and see dashboard page, but um, actual result is what actually happens. Like this is where the issue, this is where the bug is. So our bug is the login button is disabled and user cannot log in. Um, this is very uh, quite a detailed explanation of the uh, bug and the person who will be fixing that um, should, should not have any issues with it. Um, so I hope this clear with description. Um, the next piece of information is the reporter. So this is auto populated. Then the priority. So with priority of bugs, uh, we have to be careful because we have to think about like uh, what is the priority of this issue, how soon it should be fixed. Um, our issue here is about login, so the user cannot actually log into our application and cannot perform any other actions on it. So it is pretty big deal. That's why our priority is quite highest, I would say because login functionality is one of the key functionalities of any application. Uh, if you cannot log in, that's why you cannot, uh, you cannot perform any other actions in the application and that's the big issue. So I would put the highest priority on this. Um, then SME, that's going to be someone who is fixing the issue. Um, the epic link for bugs, it's not always necessary to add, so we can just skip it. And sprint, you can put it to the current sprint just because it is um, 
just because it is very high priority and needs to be fixed a ASAP. Um, also, I want to mention one little thing here that in description we can also add video recording on screenshots of any bugs that we found and that's a good uh, like visual explanation also so besides this part that we are providing steps to reproduce explanation expected and actual result um, using these little buttons we can provide um, the image we can provide the screenshot of what was happening and we can also provide uh, maybe video recording if, if you have any in my case i didn't do any uh, screen recording or video but uh, that's something that is good to add especially at work environment so that's it um, that's all information that we need now we just have to hit the create button and now if i open the backlog and look right here, now you can see that our, um, our bug is created. That's it for this video today. Thank you again and let me know if there are any questions.